It's Sunday setup time. Hello, my friends. Welcome if you're new and if you're already a subscriber. Thanks for coming back, girl. So, I'm getting ready to make my family breakfast. Um, girl, I'm not. I'm gonna be honest with you. I am so tired of cooking. I want to order out so bad. <laughs> Yesterday, Zara and I played restaurant. And Charles and Ava came to our restaurant. We sat them and we made brunch. It was like we, we made brunch. It was really, really cute. I put it on Instagram. Zara and I made brunch for everybody. A lot of today. Things. Zara Let's and I them. both did it. Go ahead, Zara. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for coming and eating. To our restaurant. Um, I to our brunch. Um, my mom and dad did. I met yeah. mom and Zara did hard for this. She had. She had a m more stronger than Zara because mom was stronger than Zara. Anyway, okay. All right. um, that was good. All right, let's bon appetit. And, and now we may eat. Let's bless the food. Anyway, we made French toast. We made um, fried potatoes, eggs, and bacon. It was really cute. And Zara like pretty much cooked the whole thing. It was really cute. That was fun. So today I'm just like, how can I top that? I don't want to have to cook like that every morning, you know? But I did pull out my Jack LaLanne juicer. Yesterday the girls and I juiced. Apples. An apple and a carrot. Even even Zara drank some of it, and I didn't think she was going to. Ava absolutely loved it. So um, we're going to do that again today. Good job, Zara. Go ahead. No, it's okay because I have to stop her in it. So we're just going to put all the pieces in. Ready? Good job. My juicer is like really old. It's over 10 years old, and this little stopper part is broke. Yeah, because I had it back in our old house. So, all of this for one apple and it's one company. orange. It was a large apple too, but oh, is it so good. You want to taste? Mm -hmm. Drink some. Go ahead, just drink it, honey. Just honey, just drink it, baby. <laughs> like, mm. I don't want to waste a straw. Mm. Mm. Let me taste. Is it good? Mm. The only thing with juicing is it makes such a mess and it's horrible cleanup. But. It's worth it because that juice is so good. Honey, no clue. Tell me, baby, can you stand the rain? All right, I'm not trying to get a copyright claim, but we're jamming over here. Time to play parachute. I kept this from when Zara was a baby. I'm so glad I did. Now the girls love it. We just make up games with this. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do that in a little bit. And then I'm going to. Oh, so sweet. And then I'm going to do a massive meal plan and plan my grocery store runs for next week. My mom and my sister are kind of freaking out because like they say the next couple of weeks is like detrimental to stay in the house. But I know that we don't have enough to last for the next several weeks. So I kind of just want to go in the morning and um, just knock out and get everything that we need for the next three weeks for me and my parents and sister. So um, I have to plan that out because I typically go to Walmart, Aldi, and Costco, but I can only choose one store. Um, and I just don't know if I should go to Costco or Aldi. I'm still thinking about it, but we'll see. So I'm getting some work done on my computer. The girls are getting some iPad time. I had stopped letting them watch YouTube Kids for a while because I don't know. I just felt like um, there were some things that they were watching that I didn't like. Um, so now, in order for them to watch YouTube Kids, they have to be in my presence. Like before, I used to. You know, they, there's certain things, restrictions that I have on there. Like if I don't like something, I, I say I don't like it. But now I have to, I only allow them to watch certain channels that I approve. Um, to say, not that it was bad, but it was just certain things that I just, I don't know, I just didn't want them watching. So in order to watch YouTube Kids, they have to be, we have to all be in the same room. Now if they want to like play a game or something like that, then they can, they can, um, you know, go into another room but in order to watch youtube kids you have to be in here so they're getting their youtube kids time and i'm getting my work time just to get some things um together before i uh start meal planning and prepping my grocery haul that i'm doing tomorrow and i'll talk about that 
um, in more detail in a little bit. Later. Okay, work is done. It took me a while, but um, I was creating some things, some new printables that I find that I'm gonna use myself. So I figured if I'm gonna find it helpful, I, I might as well offer it to you guys. But I'll talk to you guys th about that in a little bit. I ran my Roomba in my office while I was working and Sara and Charles are playing Uno and I'm about to play Barbie with Ava. I actually have to go to the post office because I have some orders to ship out. Um, thank you so much to anybody who's ordered from me lately. I appreciate the support of my small business. Um, I actually got some new patterns in for my cash envelopes. Let me show you really quick. These will be linked down below. Sorry the sunlight is um, really bright in my office right now but these new patterns are just so cute. It's like a pink and navy color. Anyway, I don't know if you guys can see that, okay. The link for these will be in the description box. $6.99 for three of them, and I ship them. And my shipping's taking a little bit longer than normal because I'm trying to limit the amount of times that we go to the post office <laughs> instead of going every day because I have been getting orders every day, and again, I'm so thankful for that. Um, instead of sending my husband to the post office every day, we try to go like twice a week just to limit us leaving the house. Um, so anyway, if you'd like to see, you know, the new pattern, the link is in the description box, as well as my grocery budget um tracker and meal planner all right so now i'm gonna have playtime with my girls i promised them we do manicures and pedicures today so we have to do that and i still have to figure out what we're gonna eat for dinners it is a struggle y'all i think it'd be better if i just do a month's worth or five weeks worth of meal planning just so that i can um not have to do this every other day you know what i mean hey it's barbie time barbie time barbie time <gasps> you guys do not want Okay, girls are letting their energy out. We moved our cars out to let them just come out here. Okay, baby, I'll cut the lights off, okay? Just so that they can um, have fun and we don't have to like directly be out here with them. And sometimes I just leave the garage uh, door open when I'm so I wanted you guys to see her tennis skills. It's been a while. We miss tennis a lot. Can't wait to get back to doing it. Good job, baby. Good. All right, y'all, so I'm at my desk here, my stand-up desk, um, where I film all my overhead stuff. And um, I have this new sheet that I created today, actually, called Freezer Inventory, because my husband, I was just giving him this, and he wrote down everything that was in the outside freezer, and then I wrote down everything that was on the inside freezer, and I noticed that I didn't have a dedicated sheet called freezer inventory. I had a sheet called current inventory that included everything in the house from laundry detergent to dish soap and everything like that. But I needed something particularly just for my freezer. So that's what this is. Again, a link for this will be in the description box. If you've already purchased my grocery budget tracker and meal planner, this will be included in there. You just have to log back into Teachable and it'll be there. You just have to print it out. So you don't have to repurchase this again if you've already purchased this, uh, if you've already purchased it to get, gain access to this. So anyway, I have got to or take this and put it here. And then what I also have to do is create a list. My husband is going to go to Aldi this evening. Um, I'm, I'm getting nervous about it. Well, I take that back. I'm not going to feed into my fears, but you know, all over the news, it's like these last two weeks are going to be, these next two weeks are going to be brutal. Stay inside, stay inside. But it's like, we're getting low on stuff and I'd rather just go now than wait another week. So I'm going to make a detailed list for my husband to go to Aldi. I'm pretty much going to get everything we need from Aldi and I'll share in this video, everything that we're going to get. And then I'm also going to prepare to go to Costco tomorrow morning. And so, yeah, I've got to make a list for that as well. So I've been like jotting down different things that we need. I've been cooking and the girls have been snacking. We're getting low on snacks and apple juice and stuff like that. So that's what we need to do. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out. And just to let you know how I plan on using this, I'm going to list here, like for instance, we have chicken tenderloins, chicken tenders, and we have two, four, six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six meals. So I'm gonna count these blocks as each meal, not necessarily a package. We have, I have three packages of chicken tenderloins, but I can stretch those three packages over six meals. So for me, I'm going to cross these. One, two, three, four, five, six. So when we use one, I will cross them out or color it or do whatever. That That's how I plan on using. You can do, do it however you want to. So that lets me know I have five meals worth of chicken tenders in the freezer. And every time I cook 
one, which is one package is gonna be two meals and I'm gonna cross out two. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on. But also have, if you don't like these categories that I have like meat, seafood, and poultry, I have vegetables and fruits, uh, breads, other, and desserts. I have a blank one where you can categorize it yourself because maybe you have freezer meals. I don't have freezer meals that are pre-made already. Um, basically, all of the stuff that we have in our freezer will fall into these five different categories. So if you have different categories like freezer meals or anything else like that, you can categorize it yourself. There'll be a blank sheet in there so you can categorize these blocks however you would like to. So let me go ahead and finish filling this out. Okay, I got my inventory list done. I think I'm really gonna like these little blocks here and I can check it off once we use it and I know exactly how much we have in both of our freezers, our deep freezer and then the freezer in our fridge. And here's my list for my husband for Aldi. It's pretty extensive. I'm gonna get a few things for my parents. And then this is the normal stuff that I get from Aldi. But as you could see, I'm getting the quantity is a lot more. I'm getting my parents cranberry juice and us orange juice and stuff. But you know, the quantity is more because I want enough for the next four weeks. I don't wanna to have to go back to Aldi. Of course, strawberries and raspberries and stuff, that's not gonna last for four weeks, but it is what it is. We're just gonna have to make it work. So this is my list for Aldi, and now I'm gonna get ready to figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner, girls. Gonna be a yo-yo night, you're on your own kind of night. Everybody kind of wants something different. We have some leftovers in the fridge, so um, I'm just going to make it so that whatever anybody wants to eat, whether it be breakfast for dinner, I think one person wanted breakfast for dinner, one person wanted spaghetti noodles, and then the other person wanted a sandwich or something. We'll just make it work. And I'm also going to bake some cupcakes with my girls because I promised them that we would do that. Also, I made this budget binder here. Well, it's like a family binder uh, over on my other channel, Moms and Money which by the way, if you're not subscribed, girl, what are you doing? Go tap this right here so you could subscribe. But I talk about meal planning and um, budget tracking, all my budget printables and stuff like that. Of course, I still use Excel, girl. That's my number one. You can download my free zero-based budget in the description box. But this has been really handy when it comes to stuff like this because I, I just three-hole punch it like so and put it in my binder and I know exactly where it is and I come straight here um, when I'm wanting to see, you know, what we have in inventory and whatnot. Give it a teeny bit more, just a touch more, okay? Just a little bit. There you go, that's good. Girls and I are baking, <laughs> we're making cupcakes, Come we're watching Daddy, trolls. Like Happy went to all the countertops are too high, so I have to hold it down so that they each have a pair of mixing it. Keep the mixer in the bowl, please. Okay, I gave the girls a bath while our cupcakes were baking, and now they're icing their cupcakes so beautifully. Very Just good. twist it around, wipe the icing on there, and twist the cupcake around. The girls did this yesterday. I saw the box up here. We opened it. It's called, oops, Cool Maker and they like baked but it's like you don't bake it you just add water and mix it and then set it in the fridge let's just say they tasted very different <laughs> but they had fun doing that now we're making the real thing today oh ava that's it that's it we're pretending like we're on sugar rush that's your cupcake girl hurry up girls daddy's the judge <laughs> Fifteen. I want it to be perfect. Okay. Fifteen. Take your take your time. We have plenty of time. Put some more on there. Hurry up. Twelve. Hurry. <laughs> Eleven. Oh my goodness. Ten. Hands up if you're done. Six, five, four, Hands up. Three. Hands up. I didn't nice those, but it's one, all good. Eight. Oh, they're beautiful girls. Okay, this is Ava's space in our dining room here. We have to sometimes incorporate toys to different learning methods and stuff. I'm going over a different mm -hmm. place value with her just on top of what okay. she does in school. Right. What she does in school goes by so fast and so I do other things right. that I want to teach her how to do. I also printed out everything that her teacher needed. Her Chromebook is charging right here on the floor and then she sits right here and does her work. Um, and so she's set. Everything that she needs is printed out for tomorrow morning. I'm gonna double check and make sure I have Zara's stuff all printed out as well. Okay, so now to get Zara's little section ready here, I'm gonna spray, wipe her table down and get her laptop or her grown book all charged up. Um, she has all her printouts in there. I put them in the appropriate folder and she has her textbook that she needs and we should be good to go. Okay, all the pencils have been sharpened and colored pencils and stuff have been sharpened. And so Ava took her pencil case down with erasers and stuff and colored pencils and pens and all that down. Zara stuff is set and I straighten up the room because you know they do zoom and then you can see all the back of the room girl and I'm trying to not have it make, make it look like a hot mess. Even though I know you can clear out your background, I still like it to look nice <laughs> anyway. All right, it's time to brush our teeth and wash our face. Okay, just 
just finished talking up with hubby. Girls are in the bed. Now I'm gonna bring them in, disinfect them. I just wipe down the exterior with a Clorox wipe. Um, separate my stuff and then, or our stuff and my parents' stuff and um, put the groceries away and I'll show you guys what we got. Okay, here is the massive Aldi haul. I literally wiped down everything individually with exception of the fruit. It has holes in the plastic and I didn't want the Clorox wipe to get on those. But everything else has been wiped down and sanitized in case you were interested. I do sanitize the bags as well. The ba bag handles and the bags as well have been sanitized. So let's go through everything. This should last us for at least a month at a minimum, probably even six weeks, but we'll see with the exception of the fruit and fresh vegetables, obviously we'll just eat those as we can, but like the processed foods and stuff that should last us for a while. Some of this is for my mom. So we ended up getting four bags of chips, three bags of pretzels, two cookies, uh, two chocolate chip cookies, two Oreos. Again, I'll probably send a, a bag of chips to my mom, a bag of pretzels to my mom, and also some cookies. We needed some powdered sugar because I made French toast and we didn't have any. It was driving me crazy, so I hope you remember that. That was not on the list. Some cooking spray, spaghetti, crackers, these um, like Nutri-Grain bars, Ava really likes these, two packs of the Girl Scout cookies, some paper plates. I got three containers of apple juice, two cranberry juices, this is for my mom, almond milk for my mom, whole milk for us, two orange juices for us, these fruit strips, Ava likes these a lot, that's for Ava, two cabbages, one for my mom, two ground beef, they limit to you, you how much ground beef you can get, you can only buy two per customer, so hubby got two, some more coffee, some shredded mozzarella and mild cheddar too will go to my mom's, some crackers, raspberries, strawberries, some turkey breasts, it's like a double pack, one pack will go to my mom, some tortilla chips for nachos, green bell peppers, multicolored bell peppers, one of each will go to my mom, lemons, grapes, oranges, bagels, um, cinnamon raisin and everything, and two packs of bananas, two bundles of bananas, one will go to my mom, and then some Parmesan cheese. We also got two um, containers of eggs, one will go to my mom's. Altogether, Heavy said he spent around $127, so that's pretty good, because if you think about it, on average, I spend about $30 to $40 a week at Aldi, and so um, again, we only got two meats, because that's all they allowed you to get. Um, if, I wanted him to get four packs, but um, they only allowed you to get two, so um, yeah, 127 bucks, that's not bad. Like I said, some of the stuff, I'm gonna pack up this stuff to go to my mom's in some bags and I'll drop those off tomorrow. I am planning a trip to Costco tomorrow, so yeah, I'm gonna get ready to go and um, make that list right now. And um, I'm gonna make a special mask for my face and I'll show you guys that as well. Okay, just made this long list of um, Costco items i know it seems like a lot because we just went to aldi but my goal is to not have to leave for the next four weeks i know that limits us with fresh fruits and vegetables but i just have to do what i have to do in the freezer plus i haven't been to costco in like probably four weeks <laughs> so um yeah a lot a lot of this stuff is for my mom and them so let me show you what i'm going to do as far as the mask that i'm wearing first of all my mom made me a mask to put over my face i have a disposable one disposable one then a one to cover my disposable one then i have this and i saw this i can't remember i think I, on instagram this you can get these at the dollar tree i'm going to hole punch them hole punch like us on each side and then make it a mask like this no no I know it seems like a lot girl but listen I gotta do what I have to do people are gonna look at me like I'm crazy but I just want to protect myself and my family from I mean I'm not sick but I'm not trying to be sick so <laughs> that's just what I'm gonna do now I don't know I have some elastic but it's like super thick elastic so I just don't know I'm gonna have to play around with this to see how I'm gonna make this work but I'll keep you posted to let you know how it goes all you need is this you can find these at the Dollar Tree um in the learning section you put paper in some elastic i happen to have here at my house and a hole punch and we're just gonna make this work and it worked <laughs> it worked fine i hope you guys can hear me okay um but this if anything it's gonna stop me from touching my face i just have a hard time not touching my face and of course i have my mask on underneath here but <sighs> you gotta do what you gotta do all right i'm about to show my husband because <laughs> I was trying to explain to him what I was going to do. Let me see. Babe, I'm ready. I'm ready, babe. Babe, I'm ready. What do you think? That's <laughs> What is that? 
is that? <coughs> Babe, it's my mask for Costco. I told you, I listen, I need all the protection. This is going to stop me from touching my face. What? <coughs> what? I'm not going with you. <laughs> what? Honey, listen, this is serious. I know, but I'm not going with you. Like <laughs> of course you're not going with me. You'll be here with the girls. I know, and basically. <laughs> listen. My mom, I FaceTime my mom, and she looked at me like I was crazy too. But listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. This is, if anything, <laughs> it's gonna stop me from touching my face. I touch my face constantly. My nose itches. Like I'll go like this on my nose, or I'll push my glasses up. And you can't do that. So I'm ready, girl. I'm ready. All right. So now that that's done, I'm getting ready to read my Bible here. I'll show you. Still reading Psalms and enjoying it quite a bit. Now I'm just gonna read my Bible and then get ready for bed because it's back to getting up early. We relaxed all week. It was really nice to just sleep in, but um, you know, I want to be honest with you guys. You know, not everything is always. I I know I always look seem like I have it put together and like I have my kids on this perfect schedule and all that. But at the end of the day, you know, my life is far from perfect. I do have those moments where um, everybody in the house is getting on my nerves and I need to just be alone. Um, and I take those moments, you know, and I try not to snap at my kids or my husband, but it's hard sometimes when you feel frustrated and then you're stuck here. It's not like you can just go anywhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I do want you to know that if you're experiencing that, trust me, you're not alone. We're all in this together. Um, I do have anxiety and I do sometimes worry, but I try to just, um, pray about it and ask God to, um, take my stress away. Cause it, honestly, if you're worrying, you're not putting your faith in God. And as a Christian, that's what I do. So that's what I just have to keep reminding myself, but we're, we're in this together and we're going to get through this together. And I'm looking forward to getting through it on the other side. So also I wanted to mention that my friend Tashai, who's an attorney, um, if you haven't seen the video that we did where she answered some common questions that people have when it comes to everything that's going on and your employee rights at this time, you can tap this eye right here to watch it. But she is uh, sponsoring right now. <clears throat> it's called journeys unlimited and they are giving away free meals for kids ages 5 through 18 it's drive up um, and they will put the the food in your trunk um, and it's a hot meal for anyone who needs it all you have to do is drive up i will post an image here uh, on the screen so you have the address um, if you're in the atlanta area and if you're in need of a meal and you have children ages 5 through 18 it doesn't matter how many kids that you have in your car they will provide um, the meal uh, for you so that's just something um, if you're right now if you're having some financial stress or if you're laid off or um, unemployed right now because of everything that's going on um, there's lots of organizations out there that are doing stuff like this so i will leave the information in the description box and also here screenshot it if you are in need right now or if you want to donate if you're in the position to donate um, to sponsor meals definitely do that and you know we all have to just do what we can right now and uplift each other so if you're in need again check it out and hopefully this will be helpful to you anyway leave a comment down below let me know what did you get done this week how are you guys doing with your groceries how are you doing on your meal planning and, and cooking and stuff i posted a video last week budget meals you can tap this eye right here uh, quarantine cook with me kind of thing yeah and so the costco haul should probably be up next week yeah early next week so um look out for that and that's it thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet you can tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye